welcome back to the channel. This is Hangboard session number two of the big bad comeback battle plan. Welcome back to the living room. Welcome back to the big old hang boy, hangboard boy. Today we're gonna utilize this session yet again for a little strength assessment as we did with the previous actually two hangboard sessions that we already had. The first we had, if you remember, in the climbing gym where I tried to get a rough estimate of my finger strength right after the break. You know, we tested finger strength, that hang strength, on the middle and side beast maker edges one-handed. I just simply test how much weight I can pull off the scale. If you want to see my results, check that video out. We did already a second finger strength assessment as well where we hung the uh, side beast maker edges, the 15 millimeters small edges actually, with as much bonus weight as possible two-handed. I'm just trying to get a couple of reference points here when it comes to finger strength divided by body weight essentially, so that we can actually see and follow and track the progression as the big bad comeback plan continues. Alright, so for today the plan is actually to utilize this wonderful pulley system here. Last time I showed this, someone asked me what this is. Link is down in the description if you want to check it out. This is a pet for pulley, sim simple stuff. And we're gonna utilize that to make assisted one armors. First on the small lateral beast maker edges, the 15 mil ones, and then also on the big middle beast maker edge, which I think is 23 mil or something. Yeah. And we're gonna see how much bonus weight, how much assisting weight actually we need to get those one armors done. To give you a little bit of a reference point, which how much finger strength I had when I was really fit. Just when I climbed the first AC plus of mine, there I could do with the right hand, that is on the middle beast maker edge, one, one armor. Okay, from very straight arm to very locked off to very straight again. The left hand is significantly weaker, about five kilos weaker or something. So here I still needed assisting weight. But just to give you an impression from where we're coming from here, okay? Now it's of course after the big rest, still quite in the beginning of the comeback clan. So where it's gonna be interesting to see where we end up today. As you can see it works pretty simple here. You can click this here together and we've got a number, an array of weights again from which we can choose from. Some kettlebells, this is four kilograms. Weight plates here, ouch. That one just fell on my toes. Water ball here, this is exactly one kilogram. And we've got this glass of salt, which is exactly 300 grams. We are starting with all the core weight on, which is 17 kilograms of assisting weight. Now, as you can see, I'm gonna pull the pulley system slightly down so that the weight actually attaches. And then I'm gonna pull up with the, with the edge here. I don't want to pull down a lot because as I mentioned previously, if you're pulling down a lot, you're getting into a situation where your holding hand is a lot higher than your assisting hand. And this is quite dangerous when it comes to popping things in your neck and stuff. Eh? So try to avoid that, really just mount your pulley system as high as you can and then only pull it down a little bit. Eh? Just a tip for working with pulley systems like that. Let's see, can we do this? 17 kilograms assisting weight. From, from completely straight up. Yeah, that counts. So what do I count as a one arm pull up? Well, if I can reach with my nose to the height of my fingertips roughly, okay, if I can get over the 90 degrees bent mark with my arms, this is counting for me as a pretty nice uh, one arm pull up, at least on a beast maker, at least on a hangboard like this, yeah. Of course, on a jug, on a bar, you can get a bit more clean than that. Okay, actually not counting. We want to be with the nose to the fingers. I mean, I'm still not properly warmed up, I would say. Perfectly 100% warmed up. But uh, you know what, I, I'm just gonna rest one more time and then we're gonna try this, this amount of bonus weight again. So maybe we just hit the, the edge here for the left hand already. That would be cool, keeps the video short. <laughs> About three minutes later, this time we're gonna start with the left hand right away. 17 kilograms of assisting weight on the pulley system. Let's try it. Okay. That barely counts, I would say. But this was really limited already, damn. Let's go one more time with the right hand so that we keep things symmetrical. Yeah, so 
and the right hand handles, handles this amount of assisting weight quite solidly. About three minutes later, the next hang is upon us. I removed one plate and added the plastic bottle and the blue bottle, which means that we're now at 16.3 kilograms assisting weight. 0.7 kilograms less than we had before with 17 kilograms. Starting with the right hand again. Easy, easy, easy. So I feel like I'm getting properly warmed up now. Also, if you're moving a little faster, you know, with a little bit more confidence, usually you get higher up, simply because you're saving energy on your way up if you're going with a little speed. If you're going super slowly like that, then you're losing energy on the way up already. And it may be that you gas out just before, just five centimeters before you reach the fingertips with your nose, yeah? Let's see what the left hand does. <laughs> There we are, nicely executed. New personal best for now. Welcome back, I removed the blue bottle. Now we are at 15.5 kilograms of assisting weight, starting with the left hand again. That did not count, unfortunately. That was pretty solid. I removed the plastic ball for the right hand, which is now working with 14.5 kilograms. Assisting weight. That was still pretty solid. Let's put the ball back on for the left hand. Doesn't count, does not count. Left hand's turn again. We're looking at 15.8 kilograms of assisting weight now. Oh yeah, oh yeah baby, that counts. 15.5 assisting weight, not possible. 15.8, possible. The right hand obviously needs some extra love. Three kettlebells, one plastic ball, that's 13 kilograms of assisting weight for the right hand. Oh yes, baby! Right hand's turn again, looking at three kettlebells, that's 12 kilograms of assisting weight. That counts, baby. You know what? Let's try the 15.5 again for the left hand. Maybe we're strong enough this time. <sighs> Isn't that incredible? The limit for the left hand lies somewhere between 15.8 and 15.5 kilograms. Assisting weight, obviously, we gassed out on the 15.5 again. Nice. Left hand is back at 15.8. Amazing. 15.8 is possible. One kettlebell off, one plate back on. We're looking at 10.5 kilograms assisting weight for the right hand. Oh, damn. That was too big of a step, man. Right hand's turn. We're looking at 11.5 kilograms of assisting weight now. Trying to fine tune the border, the limit of the right hand. Oh yeah, oh yeah baby, that counts. We're gonna give the left hand one last chance to break through that freaking 15.5 kilogram assisting weight threshold. Yes! That counts baby. Okay, so new limit, 15.5 for the left. I'd say let's try the 15.5 again with the left hand. Boom, simultaneously with the big truck outdoors. 10.8 kilograms assisting weight attempted with the right hand. That 
was pretty close. Man, I just slipped a little bit out of the edge just right before I was there with my nose. We're gonna attempt this one one more time. I just need a rest now. We're back trying the 10.8 kilograms of assisting weight for the right hand. Oh yeah, baby, that counts. Attempting the 15.5 again with the left hand. Good, good. Getting pretty solid on the 15.5 as well, I must say. Making things a notch harder for the left hand, we're looking now at 15.1 kilograms of assisting weight. Holy crap, yes, we did. I need to recheck my body weight out of the session. Maybe we got a little lighter during this uh, session, although I didn't take a piss or anything, so yeah. But I can't really explain the steady gains in performance here, although the session lasts and lasts longer and longer. We accomplished 10.8 kilograms last time, now we're trying 10.5. <sighs> <sighs> Okay, it seems like we've found the limit for the right hand as well, huh? One last attempt on the 10.5 kilograms assistance weight with the right hand. No, I'm too gassed already. Damn. Left hand, let's try the 15.5 kilograms assistance weight again. I'm not gonna attempt the 15.1 again because I can already feel the muscle ache kicking in and I don't wanna hurt myself. But this one we try one more time, let's see. Yeah, that was pretty good. Halfway solid. Wow, this session took a lot longer than expected. I must say, I actually also wanted to test the middle Beast Maker Edge, but I think this one I have to postpone until the next session because I'm already too sore. I got stronger and stronger during this session. This is why it took so long. I had to readjust the assistance weight over and over again to get down to my real limit. So if you like what you saw, then please squeeze the juice out of the like button like I did out of these small beast maker edges there. Maybe you have some reference values to these hands as well and you can post them down below and post your grades maybe so that people get, can get an idea where they stand in terms of their climbing fitness. Anyway, now we have something to work with. Let's push those values. I'll see you soon in the next one. Stay strong, keep crushing, bye.